Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Roblox FPS Unlocker. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we all know that getting more FPS on our Roblox games can actually help us a lot, especially for games that are FPS reliant. Now in this case, there are a few steps and a few websites that we need to visit for us to be able to do this. So first things first is we need to go to the official website on this following uh, website here, which is going to be github.com and from RBX flags. In this case, you can go ahead and just pause this video or copy the link here or go to the, our, our description here and copy that link or open it up on another browser. Now in this case, on this website here, what we need to do is you need to go to the code section here, click on the copy raw file option. And once you've done that, you should be able to copy the following code. In this case, minimize your browser here, go to your desktop and right click on any of the empty spaces here. Now in this case, we want to create a new file, so go to new. And from here, look for the option that says text document. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to name this accordingly. Now, in this case, make sure that you press Ctrl A on your keyboard so that everything is highlighted. And from here, just type in the following, which is going to be client app settings dot JSON. Now in this case, it is important that you have the name correctly or correctly indicated here. Now having the name incorrectly typed in can cause you some issues. Now in this case, make sure that you have it in here. Now once you've done that, what we need to do is we just need to click on any of the options as we see here. And from here, just click on yes. Now once you've done that, the next thing you want to do, right click on the client app settings here. And from here, click on the option that says open with and click on notepad. Once you've done that, just paste the code that you've just recently copied. And from here, look for the option that says DFT in task scheduler target FPS. Now in this case, go ahead and indicate the FPS that you want to uh, get. So in this case, maybe I want to say 240 for me. So it depends on your PC. So it depends on how much FPS your computer or your PC can actually handle. In this case, just indicate 240 here just to be safe. And once you've done that, just click on Control S or just click on File here. Click on Save. In this case, go ahead and close this one. Now what we need to do next is we need to visit the folder for Roblox player. Now in this case, what we need to do, go to the search bar here and just type in Roblox. Look for a Roblox player here, right click on it, click on the option that says open file location. Now it should open up a new folder here. Look for Roblox player again, right click on it. And from here, look for the option again that says open file location. Now in this case, what we need to do next here is we need to create a new folder. Now in this case, just right click on the folder here, click on new, click on folder. And from here, you need to name this as client settings. Now in this case, it is also important that you have the name correctly indicated here. In this case, once you've done that, just click on anywhere here. And from here, go back to your desktop here. And what you need to do is you need to just drag it into the client settings folder. Now, once you've done that, you are actually pretty much done here. So you could go ahead and start playing your Roblox again and FPS could go ahead and start working on your PC. But there are going to be some tips that I would suggest you try doing here. Like for example, every name or uh, any spelling that we have here, make sure that it is actually correct and exactly what we've shown you. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is make sure that you actually have a copy of the client settings folder here or the file that we just recently create created. Because in this case, every time Roblox is updated, this folder would actually be removed. In this case, having a copy on it on your uh, desktop here and just dragging it into this folder here so that every time that an update is actually installed in your PC, you'll be able to retain the uh, FPS unlocker that we just recently installed. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.